What's going on? If you already know it's your boy, Little T. Ah, uh, back with full effect. You already know how I'm right here, man. Hey, man, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. So, we got the second and third rounds of the 2024 WWE draft. And we're back out, man. Let's get it. Who you got? Michelle McCool and Tori Wilson? Okay, okay. I ain't seen Michelle McCool in a minute. Or Tori Wilson. <laughs> Two legends. Okay. Randy on back to SmackDown. They talk to me. For the blue brand here on oh, Protect your biggest stars at all costs and run. Well, 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 you got your moves and your religion. That's my sick. There we go. That's what I needed to hear. I said Braun Breaker in the first round. I like that one. Because I feel like he could be a world champion, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I feel like he definitely be the world champion. That's perfect. I like him on Raw. Because he ain't going to take the belt from Cody. But he for damn he for damn sure could take from Damian Priest. Or Jey Uso. I'm sorry to say. There you see the Monday Night Raw squad reacting. Congratulations, Adam Pierce. You got yourself a thoroughbred. Aldis has got to be disappointed that you heard Triple H mention it. I didn't do it like the NFL is crazy. <laughs> keep a Randy Orton, you leave yourself susceptible to having a future star snatched away. With the third pick of the second round of the 2024 WWE Draft, SmackDown selects Nia Jax. I'm sorry, bro. I just don't like. I don't like Nia Jax wrestling style, bro. I'm sorry. That's just me personally. Everywhere she goes, that is a massive, massive selection. Way to get back in the good books, all this. And with the final pick of the second round, Raw select Liv Morgan. Okay. 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 I'm glad she's staying on Raw. Cause I, like I said, I can see he has a world champion. And then that's when when Maria get back, you feel me? They can have that feedback over. That'll be perfect. I definitely feel like Liv should take it from Becky. I felt like I ain't even remember. I felt like Liv should have run that Royal Rumble instead of Becky. Even though I, I'm cool with Becky with the World Championship, I just felt like it would have been a better story. But depending on how long Rhea gonna be out. So if Rhea gonna be out for like six seven months, I feel like Liv can hold it down for six seven months until Rhea get back. And then they had that feud. Uh, Ron, I was gonna say Ryan Rousey, Rhea Ripley get the title back. Great foundation. <laughs> Take a look at the selections in round two. Of course, SmackDown retaining the Viper and adding the irresistible force. It's gonna take a while to get over Braun Breaker heading to Monday. What are these? Dudley Boys? What an Boy, they old as hell now. ECW, 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 ECW. Boy, that was prime ECW, man. That was that was in the days, boy. We'll never see nothing like that again. I'm trying to tell you. We want tables. Yeah, that's the right glasses. Yeah. Greatest pick ever. LA Knight, the megastar, is staying here on the blue brand of Corey. 
the whole world is going to be elated about that great job Nick Aldis. Town War Room obviously pleased with the decision. L.A. Knight staying right here on Friday nights. All right, who we're all taking? With the second pick of the third round of the 2024 WWE Draft, Raw selects Ricochet. Okay. The one and only the premier high-flying superstar in this. I still feel like Ricochet and um Ricochet and Montez Ford have a few. I feel like that would be so entertaining. Every Wednesday at noon, the sky truly is the limit. Excuse me. With the third pick of the third round of the 2024 WWE Draft. SmackDown selects Solo Sokoa, MFT Tamatanga, and Paul Heyman, the Bloodline. Obviously, all right, obviously. He definitely got stay on SmackDown. Happy campers within the Bloodline, but being picked in the third round. Where the bloodline go, trouble follows. That's been the story of the past two weeks. You have to think Paul Heyman has negotiated that deal rather rapidly. All right, they're going to probably keep the judgment the day. Pick of the third round, yeah, they're going to take the judgment Ross day. Selects Sheamus. Sheamus. <laughs> Throw an extra couple of slices on the Bella. Seamus over Drew McIntyre is crazy. Seamus over the World Heavyweight Champions. Oh, they probably already got him. Seamus over Finn Bella is crazy. Oh! 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 That was cool for real, for real. Um, I gotta see if there's any more, but if not, um, that's gonna do it for the video. Let me see in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.